Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite Mexican artist, Ariane, and today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of Clip Studio Paint Pro. I got this software thanks to getting my Wacom into us and I actually made a first impressions video about that tablet as well for my channel. I think that one should be up by now so you can definitely go check it out if you'd like to. Anyway, so I got this program with my tablet and it's a program that I've seen a lot of people use on the internet for creating illustrations and specifically for creating comics. I was very curious about it and for whatever reason I never downloaded it or got it, purchased it or pirated it. <laughs> so I never got a chance to even look at how it looked when you open the program or anything like that. And I was really, uh, I guess, impressed that the program itself looks a lot like a combination between Medibank Pro and Krita and Photoshop all combined all together. And this is actually a good thing because I, it was very easy for me to find my footing in the program. It was very easy for me to find things inside of it and use it in general. I was able to create my first illustration and I made uh, my favorite OC Melria for this. Now, unfortunately for this first drawing that I made, I hadn't yet entered the key for getting the pro version of the program so I wasn't able to save the file or anything like that I just was able to create it and then at the end I realized I couldn't save it so that was sort of unfortunate but not too bad because in the end that drawing wasn't my favorite one that I've made of Belria so I wasn't too sad about it anyway I also didn't want to share a video with you where I look into the program in like a live mode just because I'm sure that would just look like me saying a lot of um uh, and trying to find where the tools are so I took my own time to find where all of the tools were and I was very happy to realize that most of what you can find in Photoshop you can find in Clip Studio Paint I did not find anything that was poor or I guess not poor but I mean, less professional than Photoshop. Everything felt like I could do basically anything that I do with Photoshop on Clip Studio Paint. This is in regards to illustration, that's for sure. I haven't looked into how it works with uh, photo manipulation or just photo editing, but there are way better programs than Photoshop for that, like Lightroom. So uh, that was not my main focus. My main focus was trying to see if this program was able to stand next to Photoshop as a illustration program and it definitely was I mean Photoshop is not even made specifically to make illustrations anyway so it was kind of refreshing to get this program that is a pro version for drawing that is definitely made for artists this is a similar experience like I had with Krita but I've had several issues with Krita in the past with using it it kind of works well sometimes and then sometimes it doesn't work very well and i probably haven't i probably haven't given uh too much credit to krita for what it's doing it's a free program and it's doing so many good things like you can even make animations there and funny enough you can also make animations in clip studio paint pro i had no idea that this was a feature on the program and i actually tried it out and i really liked it i obviously still have a lot to learn on how to use it but i was very happy that i could make some small animation in there just for fun i also wanted to test the program for making comics because that is like one of the main things that people recommend it for and i know that it comes with a lot of like um they have a name in the program i can't remember but it's like a library of objects that you can use for your comics so like trees or a certain textures for your panels or it even comes with 3d models that you can move around to pose and to find whatever pose you're looking for which 
it's a really cool feature but to be honest i don't think i would find myself taking the time to move a 3d model around just to get a pose i'm looking for i would probably be kind of lazy and just look up references on the internet <laughs> but if any of you are interested in that that's definitely a really cool feature now i'm giving you my first impression so this is not like a super in-depth look at the program it's just the first things that i've noticed so far i've used this program three times now so it's not many times but i do see myself using it a lot in the future i have a comic that i'm planning to launch sometime in the future uh, that i think i'm gonna be making in clip studio paint because one of the things that i really liked about the program is that the inking feels so good in this program it feels way better than photoshop I don't know why it feels more responsive like it feels like i'm in control of my lines which was very nice i actually like i said i wanted to test this program for comics so i made a small comic about me and my boyfriend uh, that you can obviously find on my instagram if you'd like to check it out and give it a like uh, but yeah i drew a comic there that was pretty easy to make everything that it has i've been used to using it's just a matter of finding where the tools are and how to adjust them to your preferences uh, other than that the only thing that really bugged me about the program is that you don't have the liquify option for whatever reason which seems kind of silly because i feel like that's a feature that it could have and it wouldn't be too much of like an issue or like an improvement I sort of assumed that it would have liquify, but it doesn't. But that's all right because I have Photoshop. So if any any time or if any drawing of mine requires liquefying, I'll just move it over to Photoshop and then continue drawing on Clip Studio Paint. Um, I also found that it's cool that you can save your files for Photoshop as well as for Clip Studio Paint Pro. If you save a file for Clip Studio Paint Pro, you can't open it on Photoshop, but if you use if you make a file on photoshop and open it on clip studio paint you can open that one and use it and modify it which is nice and all the layers are still working the same as they would normally do on photoshop which is nice as well because i've had experiences in the past with medibank and with krita where you'll make a certain layer and you'll make it a clip-in mask and when you transfer it over to Medibank or Krita um, they don't work the same way I guess because they don't have clip-in masks whereas Clip Studio Paint has a clip-in mask which is very nice for me I use a lot of clip-in masks as you can tell <laughs> anyway those were the only things that I noticed that were things that I thought I should mention for my first impressions I also think that the text tool is pretty easy to use. This is a tool that I found to be a bit harder to use on programs like Krita or Medibang. But again, I shouldn't even compare Clip Studio Paint Pro to those programs because those ones are free and this one isn't. So I guess you are definitely getting a pro version of a software with this Clip Studio Paint Pro. Um, and I'm very excited to see what I am able to make with the program. If I make anything in the span of time between this video, editing this video and publishing this video, I'll definitely put those drawings in this video. I'll just insert them right here so you can see what I've been able to make with Clip Studio Paint Pro. Uh, and yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you know more about the program, if you know any neat tricks or tips or if you recommend any artist that loves to use this program please let me know in the comments i really want to learn more about clip studio paint pro and i really want to use it in the future for my comics and certain types of illustrations oh and just as a last note the brushes and the types of brushes that this program has are really great i don't see myself trying to download any further brushes for it they're all pretty cool. They have pencils, uh, watercolors, oil painting brushes, and they're all working really, really well. So yeah, that's all now, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye. Well, this is my outro. Outro? Out, out, outro. This is my outro, and I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe to my channel, and you can choose to ignore this. 
Oh, and also you can you can uh, like and comment and stalk me and support me on Patreon. Yeah, that's all that it says here.